Hi, my name is Timothy Brennan. I am the day shift patrol sergeant for the Hopkins Police Department. First, I want to wish everybody the very best for a happy, healthy, safe, and better 2021. In 2019, the town of Hopkins Police Department <clears throat> hired former Holliston Police Chief and consultant attorney John Moore to help analyze the police department. Chief Moore conducted surveys throughout the community and department. The data gained from these surveys helped formulate a strategic goal for the Hopkins Police for the next five years. Chief Bennett and the entire Hopkins Police staff are committed to instituting all the initiatives outlined in the plan. I am the sergeant tasked with the strategic goal number three, which is community interaction and relationship building with all residents to sustain the highest level of public legitimacy. We strive to build relationships with all members of our community. We know that respect is earned over time and can be eliminated in an instant. Through relationships, we work towards acceptance from and cooperation with our community. We train our officers to be warriors when needed and guardians at all time. Our team that you will meet are ready to field your calls, answer your emails, and help or direct you to help whenever needed. This is a difficult goal to measure. One way we can measure it is through the amount of complaints we received about officers and the amount of commendations we received about officers. I would now like to introduce you to the officers who are on our team. Hello, my name is Tyler Brabham. I was raised in the town of Blackstone, Massachusetts. There I attended Blackstone Millville Regional High School. I was part of the basketball, soccer, and tennis team there. I was raised by my mother, Michelle, a CNA, my father, Craig, a Mass State Trooper, and I have two brothers, Kyle and Zachary. From there, I attended Fitchburg State University, where I was part of the Police Concentration Program. This program included a bachelor's, a master's degree in criminal justice, as well as completing the Municipal Police Academy held at the university, which I completed in 2019. While in my graduation courses, I was able to also be part of the men's soccer team. I have been at the Hopkins Police Department for around a year and a half now. I am part of the traffic safety team and community outreach team. Today I'd like to talk to you about some fraud. For one, the IRS will never ask you for your credit or debit card information over the phone, especially before sending you a notice in the mail. Also, no legitimate business or government entity will ask for payment in gift cards. Avoiding sharing your password with anybody and change your passwords regularly to avoid your accounts being hacked. Some things I would strongly recommend is using symbols, capital letters, and numbers in your passwords. Stay away from computer ads that seem too good to be true as well, such as click here to be a millionaire. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Good afternoon. My name is Jay Diana. I'm a patrolman with the Hopkinton, Massachusetts Police Department. I was born and raised in Hopkinton and lived here for 25 years of my life. I went to Hopkinton High School and from there graduated from Massachusetts Bay Community College with a degree in criminal justice. After graduating from Mass Bay, I went to the Boylston Reserve Intermittent Police Academy. After that, I was hired by Simmons University as a full-time police officer. In January 1st, 2018, I was hired by the Hopkins Police Department as a full-time police officer, which was a dream come true of mine because I was able to come back to the community I grew up in and be able to become an active member of it once again. Today, I'm here to talk to you about a simple task to help you keep your belongings safe, especially during these holiday seasons. The concept I'd like to talk to you about is called like it, lock it, keep it. The thought behind this is if you have belongings that you don't want to get stolen and you, and you have anything you want to keep safe, that you keep it locked up and make sure that nobody can steal it, especially during these holiday seasons with the influx of package deliveries through Amazon with all the holiday shopping. You never really know when your packages are going to come, but you got to do your best to try to get them inside your house locked up and safe. Another big thing is keeping your vehicle locked at all times. A lot of people tend to leave their vehicle locked when it's in their driveway because they believe it's safe. But this is a crime of opportunity for thieves. They like to go around, they find vehicles that are unlocked, and they'll go inside and take whatever you leave behind. Like I said, this is a crime of opportunity. So if these thieves come and see that your car is locked and all your belongings are kept safe, they're going to move on to another easier target. And that's going to keep you safe and your belongings safe. Hello, my name is Officer Robert Eckross with the Hopkinton Police Department. Overall, I have two years in law enforcement and a year and a half with HPD. 
I attended the Massachusetts State Police Municipal Academy, number eight, and graduated in 2018. For college education, I have a bachelor's degree in criminal justice, and I am assigned to patrol. I'm on the eve shift and midnight split. So I'm going to talk to you about car break-ins and auto thefts. Some helpful tips are always lock your vehicle and arm your alarm, even when you're at home. Close all your windows and make sure you don't forget the moonroof. Secure any valuables. Perpetrators will target cars with visible cash, electronics, sunglasses, and other valuables. Park in well-lit areas. If at home, turn on any outside lights, and if you don't have any lights installed, consider doing so. Utilize security cameras, and if you don't have any, consider installing some at your home. When, le when lending your vehicle to someone, never leave the keys in it or around the vehicle. Hi everyone, my name is Moira McGaffigan, and I've been a police officer with the town of Hopkinton for the past three years. Prior to working in Hopkinton, I worked for the Massachusetts Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals in their law enforcement department. I am a graduate of St. Anselm College, where I majored in criminal justice and also played the cross. I am also a graduate of the Randolph Police Academy. In midst of the holiday season, as well as a full-blown pandemic, I want to remind seniors in town to not be afraid to reach out to the police department or senior center if in need of assistance. The senior center offers a variety of programs, including meal assistance, online fitness programs, and legal assistance. I also want to remind the Hopkinton community to check in on their elderly, family, friends, and neighbors in their life. Something as simple as bringing a loved one to the grocery store or helping a neighbor shovel their driveway can really go a long way, especially during these hard times. My name is Officer Press Mutteroni and I'm currently 26 years old. I grew up a couple of towns over from Hopkinton. I have a bachelor's degree in criminology from Framingham State University. I went to the Massachusetts State Police Municipal Academy in 2018 and started working for Hopkinton Police upon graduation. Other than being a patrolman for Hopkinton, I'm also a SWAT operator for the Central Massachusetts Law Enforcement Council which is a regional SWAT team. The SWAT team is activated whenever a town or city in central Massachusetts region is in need of our services. I want to take my time today to talk to you about scams that many people receive through their email. Many people think that emails containing scams go to your junk or spam folder within the email, but that's not true. The scammers will use fake email heads, such as Amazon, to get your attention. <laughs> Amazon is a popular one because of how widespread it is used throughout the world. The scammer will make the email look like it is coming from Amazon and commonly ask you to confirm your payment method. People will click on the link in this email, enter the credit card information to confirm it with Amazon. Now the people who sent the link through a fake email and website have all your information. These people spend a lot of time making it look exactly like you're receiving an email from Amazon entering their fake website when you click the link. There are ways to tell that these emails are fake and one way is to see who the sender is. The sender email is usually made up of random letters and is not at Amazon.com. Regardless, you should never click on these links and contact Amazon through the phone instead. Hi, I'm Officer Normandon with the Hopkinton Police Department. I'm one of Hopkinton's newest officers, having just completed the field training program. Prior to that, I attended Fitchburg State University and graduated, graduated in May of 2020 with a Bachelor's of Science in Criminal Justice. Immediately following that, I attended the Fitchburg State University Police Academy and graduated in September of 2020. One thing I want to talk to you about today is reducing the likelihood that you are going to be a victim of property crime. Ways you can do this is always make sure that you're locking your house when you leave, and you can leave lights on, both outside and inside. Don't, also, don't post on social media that you are going somewhere for an extended period of time. For example, if you're going on vacation, don't post, on, don't post pictures on social media while you are gone. Last, I would like to talk to you about our RAD program, wiring money and gift cards and public information. Again, I am Tim Brennan. I was born and raised in Newton, Massachusetts and moved to Hopkinton 21 years ago. I am married to Kimberly Moran who grew up here in town and we have three children. My son Jack is 19 and a sophomore at Norwich University. My second son Ryan is 16 and a sophomore at Hopkinton High School. And my daughter Sarah is 13 and in the eighth grade at Hopkinton Middle School. I'm in my 33rd year in law enforcement. I spent my first 15 years at Bentley University in Waltham, Massachusetts leaving in 2002 as the operations lieutenant. My last 18 years here at the Hopkins Police, I have been a patrol officer, a school resource officer, a detective, and my current role as a sergeant. I attended the Massachusetts Criminal Justice Training Council Campus Police Academy in 1988 in Needham, Massachusetts, and the Municipal Police Academy in 1995 in Waltham, Massachusetts. I'm a basic advance and kids rad instructor, sexual assault investigator, and a mass police training committee 
firearms defensive tactics and use of force instructor. I earned my business degree in business management from Bentley University and my master's degree in criminal justice from Suffolk University. RAD is a women's self-defense program. It stands for Rape Aggression Defense Systems. It was developed in 1989 and it teaches awareness and avoidance techniques in the hope that you can avoid a physical confrontation. If you cannot avoid a physical confrontation, we're also going to teach you self-defense, physical self-defense that you can use in an actual attack. The class was started here in Hopkinton in 2000 by now retired officer Linda Higgins. Since then, we have taught and certified hundreds of women in the Hopkinton and surrounding communities. We then introduced the program in Hopkinton High School and got the wellness staff involved. Wellness teacher Diane Millette has taken the program to new heights and has still culminated with a simulated attack. This part of the program is done with the cooperation and assistance of the Hopkinton Police Department. There is also a kids program that focuses on self-defense, empowerment, and how to save one oneself from dangerous situations. Someday, we hope to incorporate that in the younger levels of the school age, second to fifth grade. I also wanted to talk to you about wiring money and gift cards. If someone ever calls you and asks you to wire money or to send them numbers on the back of gift cards, don't do it. The only people that use Western Union anymore are businesses. People like you and I do not use Western Union to wire money. If someone asks you to do that, they're a thief. Gift cards is the same thing. People will call and ask you to use gift cards. Don't do it. It's, they're a thief on the other end of the line and it's a scam. One of the ways that people get these, this information about who you are is through public records, through engagement and wedding announcements, death notices, anything that's in the newspaper that they can get offline. We want to thank you to, for joining us today. Please feel free to reach out to any of our officers on this team through phone or email with questions, comments, or concerns that you may have. It is our job, and we will be happy to call you back and help with whatever the issue is. However, if you have a crime that's been committed, don't wait. Call 911 or our police line, our inside police line, which is 508-497-3401. You don't want to wait to report a crime.